And he said, if a business fails, whose fault is it? I was like, the business owner? And he's like, well, if it's a bigger business, whose fault is it? I was like, ultimately, it's probably the CEO's fault. He said, if a business succeeds, whose fault is it? I said, well, it's the CEO's fault. And he says, so let me ask you this. If you get to the end of your life, you're 85 years old, you're sitting around your rocking chair, and your grandkids are there, and you look back at your life, and you think, man, I wasted it. Man, I was a failure. I made so many excuses. There were so many limiting beliefs and fears and worries and judgment that I didn't do anything near what I wanted to do with my life. Whose fault is it? I was like, it's probably my fault. And he goes, but if you get to the end of your life and you feel like you did everything that you possibly could, that you got everything that you wanted to out of your life and you put every ounce of energy into becoming better and by becoming better, you made everybody else's life around you better, whose fault would that be? I was like, that'd probably be my fault. And he said, so what you need to do is you need to wake up every single morning and treat your life as if you're the CEO of your life because nobody's gonna change your life. Nobody's gonna come in and care about your success or your happiness or your fulfillment or your joy more than you will. And so you have to wake up every single morning and know that you're the CEO of your life. And that is the only thing that you should worry about because if you do that, excuses don't matter. You can't make any more excuses up. The past is the past. Do we have bad stuff happen to us? Sure, most people have. Have some people had worse past than others? Yes, but there's also a lot of people who have gone through terrible things and made amazing lives out of it.